still coming down a little bit. And we get set for action. And it will be Jamison Tile to throw the first pitch of the game to go up against Luis Ortiz. In there, got him looking. Marcano did not like the call from John Champagne. And a good start for Jamison Tile. He drills this one out towards left center. Talkman drifting back and makes the catch. Chicago native Jack Sawinski, two for ten here last year. Sends this one a long way to center. Toward the wall, Talkman, and it is gone. Jack Sawinski in Chicago. A two out solo home run. He clears the deck at Wrigley. His 14th, and it's 1 0 Pittsburgh. A little bit of a hook on that ball started out straight away, and then it started moving left to right, and the wind kind of caught it and just kept going. A Sawinski home run, and Luis Ortiz will make his Sixth start this season made one appearance out of the bullpen 3 2 and he walked him. And that's not a great start. Little chopper to third. Hayes on the move and oh! And I'm pretty sure Nico Horner beat that. Let's take a peek. Yeah, there's going to be a replay here. I would think so. Key Brian Hayes just didn't have a good grip on it or what, but he kind of threw a change up over there. They're going to look at it. After review, the foul was overturned. The runner is safe. Ian Happ has just done a number with this Pirate Club over the last few years. Deep drive to right. Back to the wall. It's got a chance. Gone. Three run homer. Ian Happ. Cubs lead three to one. You have to be aggressive at home plate if they're going to throw strikes. Happ takes a two strike pitch and hammers it into the bleachers and right. It's his fifth of the year. Cubs lead three to one. His first home run since the fifth of May. Here's Palacios, left-handed batter, 268 with a home run. Toward the line and left. Hap coming in, still coming in, and can't make the catch. And Palacios could wind up at third, but he'll hold up at second. G1 Bay with two outs. And the other way, and a big two-out single for G1 Bay. Two out. Single brings home Palacios. Definitely a clutch base hit there. And the Pirates get a run back. It's 3 2. Jiwan Bay with the RBI single to left. See how Ortiz does now. The bottom third of the order for the Cubs. Miles Mastroboni. It's a strikeout, second K. Swing and a miss, struck him out, went back to the slider and got him. So Ortiz rebounds with a 1 2 3 second. We go to the third. Pirates come right back up to bat. They trail it three to two. Marcano struck out looking in the first. Madrigal plays in at third. Tyon registers his third strikeout. Second time he's gotten Marcano. And there's a base hit for Reynolds. Boy, not much room to get that no. through. Horner and Mervis pinching on that right side. It brings up Jack Sawinski. There goes Reynolds taken for ball four. It's first and second. Good career numbers against the Cubs for Connor Joe. 0 and 2 with two aboard. Breaking ball in there. Got him looking. And a big strikeout for Tyone. Nick Madrigal will lead it off. To third. And Marcano. Safe at first. It's an infield hit for Madrigal. On a bounce. Knocked down. Marcano it squirts out into left. And a base hit for Barnhart. He hit that one hard. In the air, that one hangs up there, and Palacios able to make the grab. Tuckman retired, and the runners back to their bases. Now you need that ground ball. There it is. One, two. Yeah. Well done, Ortiz. Here's Jack Sawinski, homer and a walk. Whoa. Stay that fair. one's way gone if it's fair, and it is gone. Jack Sawinski. On top of the scoreboard in Chicago ties the game. She's Chester is smiling. A two homer night. 15 on the year. The Chicago kid with two home runs at Wrigley. That ball was absolutely crushed. Oh my goodness. That is going to make some highlights. Went over the scoreboard and across the street. 425 feet. One out man at first, 3 3 game, bottom six. Line drive, base hit, out into left center. Half stop stopping. 
on his way to third. Big turn for Swanson. They're at the corners. And a chance for the Cubs to take the lead. Dansby Swanson with a one-out knock. And that'll be it for Ortiz. He'll go five and a third, and Moreta will come in and try and get the last two outs of the sixth tie game. Matt Mervis, the left-handed batter, 0 for 2. Mervis rips one into right. Base hit happened to score. Swanson racing for third. Matt Mervis, RBI single. Cubs lead 4-3. It's an off-speed pitch, and he stays right on this pitch and hammers this ball into right field. Excellent swing by Mervis. Cubs take the lead. Tucker Barnhart, Talkman, and then Horner to follow. 4-3 Chicago. Hit hard at a base hit and for Barnhart, his second hit of the night. And that is ball four. And now two are aboard, including a man in scoring position with only one out. Hard hit off the glove of Bay. He'll go to retrieve it, and they're loaded. Obviously, getting an add on run here would be huge. 2 2. Inside, he hit him, and that'll force in a run. Barnhart in to score. The Cubs will take it. It's 5 3. On the ground, knocked down. Swanson racing. Everybody safe. Dansby Swanson, an RBI infield single, and it's 6 3. Rob Zestrisny has been warming in the pen. The former Cub is going to come in here. Slap to right, and it'll fall for a hit. Gomes knocks in Suzuki, and right behind him is Ian Happ, and the Cubs add two more, and he continues to clobber the lefties. 8-3. And now an opportunity for Christopher Morrell. And Morrell cracks one in the air, deep left field, get out the tape measure, long gone. All the way to Waveland Avenue. And the Cubs have broken it wide open and lead 11 to 3. Morrell with his 11th home run. Not a bad total in just 26 games. Here's Rodolfo Castro pinch hitting for G1 Bay. Line drive. And Nico Horner makes the catch. Ball game. Cubs win. K finishes it off. And the Cubs. Start the homestand in style. Morrell off the bench. The homer. Hat goes deep. And it comes one it.